Welcome to Andy's Garage, I'm Andy Phillips. Today we have something kind of a last minute thing we're gonna be doing, I'm gonna take you along with me on this, but I just got a call from my parents. They were out driving their Toyota Prius C. Looks like the car died, the brakes failed, and he wound up backing into another vehicle. Nothing major, but still, the car stalled out at the Texas Roadhouse down in the next town. So I'm gonna be headed over there, we're gonna meet the tow truck driver to get the car, bring it back here to the garage so we can run a test, see what went wrong with it. Hopefully we can fix it in this video. If not, then please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it when we do fix whatever we diagnose the issue to be. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we are. This is their vehicle here parked out front. This is where it's stalled out. Let's go inside here and see if we can get it to start or anything, but uh, okay, if we look here, you can see that there is just a check engine light on. That's it right there. Nothing else will come up on the dash. Let's get it towed. All right, so the car has just been brought in. I have my the Nova scan tool, we're gonna to connect to it, see if we can see what the issue is. We are getting a check engine light. The car other than that is completely dead. I think it might be an electrical issue. Don't know what battery it could be because this is a hybrid vehicle. So let's go inside, let's connect to it, see what it is. Hopefully we can fix it in this video. If not, as mentioned already, there will have to be a second video when we go in and actually fix the issue, but let's take a look at it. Coming in here, as we saw uh, when we picked it up, but Check engine light is on. If I take the key, usually put the key up here. We push this. Let's see here. Completely dead. Normally you'll have things that'll come up here on the screen as soon as you hit it. Completely dead. So let's connect to it and see what it says. That is our connection port right here for our scan tool. Get that connected. Not getting anything because of it being dead. So I can't even get a reading off of that, the check engine. Good chance that check engine light is on to say that the voltage has dropped below its requirement because that can do that as well when your battery goes. With that being said, we need to locate now the battery on this vehicle and uh, put a, an actual voltage tester on there and see what that's looking like. Now, with a hybrid vehicle like this, and I'm going to pop the hood and show you, it's not going to look like your average car. You don't want to be fooling around with electrics things in here if you don't know what you're doing because there can be very high voltage coming off of the, the main battery. But let's pop the hood and I'll show you what we're looking at. Let's pop this here. Let me bring the camera in here and you can see what we're looking at. This looks nothing like your traditional vehicle and you don't want to be fooling around with this because of the high voltage, but take a look. So as we come in here and look in, um, under the hood, you can see there's no remnants of any kind of a traditional battery, you know, where you would have the positive and, and negative battery cables, things like that. Normally your battery should be up here in this area here. Instead, we have this here. Let's get a close up. This right here is your hybrid Synergy Drive. You can see it's got the markings here, but it also says right here, high voltage right there. So you do not want to be tampering with this. You have some cables going into it back there. You don't want to be messing with any of that. In the event that your main battery goes on one of these vehicles, you want to make sure you take it to an authorized Toyota dealership, someone who knows what they're doing with these, because if not, you can get seriously injured or even cause of death with that. So as we look here, it's not here. So where you'll find the 12 volt battery, it's obviously not under the hood like we saw, it's not in the trunk like some people would think, but you're gonna find it here in the back seat, behind the, rear pa behind the front passenger seat. So rear seat behind the passenger. All right, so coming in here, here's our rear seat. You have this plastic 
skirt going along the bottom. I'm going to have to remove that in order to access the 12 volt battery on this vehicle. So we have these two clips. You have one here that I removed already. This is what it looks like. And then we have another one right here, which I've also removed already, which looks just like the other one. Now with that out of the way, we can grab this and we can pull this to get to the battery underneath. Pull that. We can slide that out of the way. And then as we come down here, this is our battery tucked under here. We have this cap here. Pop that up. We can get to our positive. And then if you can see right there on this side, that's our negative. So I have my multimeter set to 20 volts. Let's go ahead and test it and see what it's looking like. That might be what caused this thing to fail. All right, so I have it connected to the battery now. We're at 3.7 volts, which is ridiculous. This thing is completely gone. All right. So there we saw it. Um, definitely the 12 volt battery bed needs to be replaced. I don't have it on hand, so unfortunately I can't fix it here for the video. We need to get that ordered so we can swap it out. But if you want to, uh, please like the video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it when we do the follow-up, swapping that out. But that wraps up this video. Just a quick video. We had this call from my parents, went, got the vehicle, brought it here, diagnosed it. That was the issue. So just to recap again, what we mentioned at the beginning, they were pulling out of a parking space there at the restaurant. Battery completely died. Car died. He wound up drifting and hitting a car behind him, not that hard, no major damage done, but still, because the uh, the brakes are not as strong now with the battery dead. They still work, but it's not as strong, so it didn't stop as well and it hit the vehicle. Got it towed here, and that's what we tested. So we're gonna get that battery in here so we can replace it, and we'll have another video swapping that out and getting that thing corrected. But that wraps up this video. Please like, please subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.